Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about our recommendation for communications when it comes to emergency preparedness. Specifically, what radio do we recommend for emergency preparedness? We actually have two. We have one by Radioddity and we have one by Bofang. They do both offer pretty much the same features. They operate um, at the same capacity. They perform, generally speaking, the same. However, they are different enough that depending on your skill level, uh, that you may want to buy one over the other. And so what we're gonna do is just talk about the Radioddity first. This is the Radioddity GM-30 Plus radio. Again, this is the radio that we would recommend if you're just getting started into communications for emergency purposes. And the reason is, is basically two main reasons. One, it's got a really intuitive menu. It's super easy to navigate the menu and make changes. And um, next is gonna be the weather scanning capabilities on this. This has pre-programmed NOAA weather frequencies. Uh, so you can just switch to the weather mode and start scanning and start picking up NOAA weather alerts almost immediately. Um, so not a lot of programs needed, honestly, to get a benefit out of this radio right out of the box. We've tested the range on this radio. It works very, very well uh, in various terrain. We're testing it in wooded mountainous terrain, so not necessarily the worst case scenario. However, that is kind of the baseline test that we're using for two of these radios to communicate with each other. And you can pick these up uh, in a kit for $40 to $60, depending on the day. And this radio comes with um, you know, detachable antenna. You can get antenna upgrades. Um, you can get extra batteries. They charge via USB-C. So they're very, very handy, very easy to charge. Um, you can use a solar power, portable solar power cha uh, charger. That's what we were using when we were out in the field. And so that's the radio that we recommend. And the performance of this radio was very comparable to the Bofang 5G, almost as clear. Now the Bofang 5G, I would say, I don't wanna say it's a more advanced radio, but the menu system might not be quite as intuitive if you're brand new to communications and there is no NOAA, uh, pre-programmed NOAA frequencies on this. There's not a dedicated, um, I guess, weather bank uh, is what I would call it uh, with the various weather frequencies from NOAA. So that keeping that in mind, you would have to program in the NOAA frequencies that you want to scan and listen to on this radio. You'd have to do that manually. Whereas on the GM30 Plus, it's already got all those programmed in. And here's the other thing, you cannot change the frequencies on the weather channels on this radio. So they're fried in, they're burned in, you can't change them. So keep in mind if those frequencies go down or they change, you're gonna have to program in the frequencies manually on your GM30 Plus as well. However, I haven't seen that actually happen. Um, and I find it pretty useful when I'm traveling just to go into weather mode and start scanning. Now, the downside to being in weather mode on this radio is that when you're in weather mode scanning weather channels, you can't be also listening to GMRS communications. So it kind of takes over the radio when you do that. Whereas with the Bofang, they're gonna be programmed in just like a regular old frequency, which means you can scan your NOAA weather alerts as well as your fire department frequencies, your GMS frequencies and all those. Again, the weather bank, the weather scanning portion of this radio takes over the radio. So you can't scan for your, your sheriff's department, uh, fire department and your GMS channels, okay? However, this radio, the GM30 Plus is a little easier to use and we still make this other recommendation to brand new people because usually you're gonna get these in a kit, right? You're gonna most likely not get just one radio. You can get these in a two radio kit again pretty cheap and you can have one radio dedicated to scanning weather and then another one sitting and listening on your fire ems and your gmrs channels so that's kind of where we're at with the recommendation now when it came to performance we have a typical route that we take here when we're testing these radios we've tested these radios you can go actually i'll put links in the description if you want to look at the range test they're pretty in-depth now we have a map that we show where we're at, showing the distance. Um, I cut in between communications of uh, Mrs. Burnett and myself while we're kind of doing this. So you can see what I sound like on her end, what she sounds like on my end, back and forth. Um, and those are pretty good to get a really good idea if you're interested in that kind of level of detail um, on what the radios are capable of doing. So basically with the Bofeng UV5G, this would be like you are pretty comfortable with electronics, you're comfortable maybe already with radios. 
uh, and you just want that little bit of extra clarity, maybe, maybe just a little extra distance, then I would go with the UV 5G. Again, if you don't care about the NOAA, you're okay with programming in the frequencies that you want. This radio is more like if you want a fully customized option, you know, you want to program in all the frequencies you're going to be using um, and all that kind of stuff, right? As far as the NOAA weather uh, frequencies, then this would be your radio. Uh, both radios are pretty rugged. Uh, they have good, hard, seems to be pretty high quality plastic. I will say that the Bofang feels a little bit more higher quality. It just feels more ruggedized. Um, I've had these in the rain, both of these in the rain. They seem to have survived uh, pretty good in the snow and rain. Uh, we were able to test that this winter. Um, the Bofang does have a little flashlight. Actually, they both have flashlights now that I think about it built into them. So that's kind of cool. Let's see if I can get it to focus on the flashlight there. You can see. Uh, there's like a little light. <laughs> so that's kind of cool to have that. Um, and they both operate the same, same frequencies. Obviously, GRMS has set frequencies. Um, so we're pretty happy, again, with both of these radios. And you know what? If I was going to give you like my end-all, be-all recommendation, I'd say get a set of these and a set of these. Have four radios because if you get in the emergency, you don't want to just have communic basic communications with yourself and your family. If somebody, maybe a neighbor, you could give a radio to a neighbor, right? Be able to share Again, um, obviously I can say that these aren't that expensive, but in today's uh, economic climate, um, that could depend on uh, the person, right? And so I know, you know, you might spend a hundred bucks to get two sets of these, one of the, a set of these and a set of these. Um, however, I think they will go a long way uh, during an emergency. You'll be prepared to provide a little bit extra communications, uh, maybe if you have to go out and search for some neighbors or, or things like that. Uh, both of these radios, like I said, have uh, detachable antennas, so you can get extended antennas. In fact, the kits come with 15-inch whip antennas. I've just got the shorties on this for the video uh, purposes, um, and those do make a little bit of a difference. And then you can get longer foldable antennas, um, so you have a lot of options there. On the side of the radios, um, let's see if I can open one up here. Uh, there's actually a jack um, that you can plug in, external microphones. You can actually get a helmet kit. Uh, if you have uh, those military style helmets, you can plug in a headset uh, to these, which is, can be handy. I actually had an earpiece while I was checking on neighbors during one of our big ice storms here this last year. Um, and it worked really, really well. I was able to communicate uh, back here to the cab. And so anyway, that's our recommendation. Sorry for the long winded video. Just a lot to talk about. Um, this is kind of like my thing, right? I was a radio operator in the Army National Guard in Virginia. Um, and so I'm very interested in the communication side of thing. That's kind of my bread and butter, uh, just the operational side of it uh, without getting too technical. Uh, but these are the recommendations, the Bofeng UV 5G Plus and the Radiotity GM-30 Plus. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.